Hello YouTube, how do Herbie? Um, for those not in the know, this is the second part of, well the second video from me in a conversation I'm having with a cool dude called Herbie, link to his channel below, and um, we were discussing belief and whether or not you could choose to have a belief. Um, we had reached a sort of an impasse in um, personal messages back forwards, but I think the videos have, have clarified things. Um, so I'll also link to his video, which is again below, um, which was in turn a response to my first video. Um, I really think I get where you're coming from now, Herbie, um, when you talk about um, thoughts in your head, possibly being closet atheist, being different to the feelings in your heart. I can really sort of empathise. I used to think quite similarly, um, as I described in, in our previous written conversation. Um, I think it kind of ties in with belligerent atheists you encounter as well, because I don't think they either don't remember or have never experienced what it's like when you're a theist, and it can be very frustrating for someone who's not used to dealing with the cognitive dissonance. Um, one of the reasons I think atheists might get very frustrated is because they used to have it and they're, they're almost getting frustrated at themselves, their past selves. But that's that's a, a completely different matter. Um, when it comes to what you said about choosing to believe, I kind of think you put yourself in an environment where you were surrounded by believers because of the music and possibly the pretty girls. Um, you were surrounded by people constantly reinforcing the idea that you should believe in a god. Um, if it didn't fit the human mind pattern to believe in a god, I don't think religions would have lasted. Like, humans are, as far as I can tell, pretty programmed to be supernatural thinkers. We, we assign agency to things without ever really thinking about it. Um, it's just what we do. We make we make things have personality and spirit. Um, now this may sound odd coming from a middle class Pakeha, but I feel that very much we're coming from a, a similar sort of background when it comes to looking at belief. I kind of feel that you're at a stage I was at, which I, I don't mean to sound patronising, I don't expect you to come out thinking exactly like I think. I wouldn't mind if you did, I wouldn't mind if you didn't. The important thing is that you're thinking about things. Um, but we both think evidence is important. And in your case, you, you have a very strong emotional attachment, I think, in here, you say, to, to religious ideals. I used to have a very strong, traditional, it was it was an essential part of my universe and my identity as a person. Um, so that the thinking differences in my mind never really beat my in-the-heart feelings. It took something of in-the-heart nature to change my in-the-heart feelings about a deity, which, as I, I described in writing, kind of flicked the switch which allowed my thinking brain to dismantle my, my beliefs that I'd essentially created to defend my preconditioned desire, almost, for there to be a god. Um, so, I can talk about what impacted me to, to actually make an active change in the way I thought about god, because although I used to feel similar to what you do now, now, if I feel anything in my heart about god, uh, how can I best put it? Um, I'm an occasional helper now with a scout troop, and the scoutmaster wants me to, to become a proper scout leader and, and things and, and take the scout oath. And he kind of wants me to... Well, I, I won't say he kind of wants me, but it has been hinted at mm -hmm. that I, I could just say the scout oath as so long as I was comfortable with saying it. And my problem is the only way I'd be comfortable saying the scout oath, which is a scout promises to do their duty to God, is that my duty to God is to destroy it if it exists. Um, I'm, I'm very much an anti-theist now. 
Um, I try and be a nice, friendly anti-theist, but I am very much opposed to any supernatural being responsible for the universe now. So before I before I start to ramble on things beyond that, I just want to sort of explore where where this conversation can go because um, we can start talking scripture. Um, I've done a couple of takes, so I can't remember if I've already mentioned um, Lord of the Rings and, and the Old Testament. Um, my old dad used to joke that the Silmarillion was very similar to the Old Testament in reading style. Um, both long, dusty, full of people fighting battles that don't get mentioned again. Um, but I'm, I'm fairly well versed in... Well, I'm very well versed in the Old Testament. I'm fairly well versed in the New Testament. I can paddle with the Quran. I can dabble my toes in other religions. Um, so we can we can talk scripture, and we can talk the things that priests and preachers and vicars don't talk about. Or we could explore it a different avenue, and I could talk about, um, like I said, the emotional impacts that, that made me decide to change my mind about God, which were basically just questions that were asked of me. Um... Or we can we can explore sort of philosophical side of God. What 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 do we mean when we actually say God? Things like that, which are, which are actually pretty important for the discussion because if you don't know what you're talking about, it gets very very slippery. Um, again, as I described in writing, I went from a personified anthropomorphic God, the God of my, the, the God who with a mighty hand came down and smote the Egyptians. Um, to a less interventionist God, which explained why we didn't get miracles now, and then to a more deistic God, and then to a, a truly deistic God, one who didn't intervene at all, just created, and then to a pantheistic God, which eventually just became referring to the universe as God, and then I realised that if I already called it the universe, there wasn't much point calling it God because it didn't it didn't match anything that other people sh should be calling a God and I'll cut up cut off there thanks very much YouTube bye